Hello everyone and welcome to Slovenia. Located in Central Europe, it borders Italy, Hungary, Croatia and Austria. It was the first country in the world to be declared a green destination and has a population of 2 million. We've hired a car and we're planning on doing a road trip for a week here. We've got loads of like fun and exciting things planned, we can't wait. Um, if you saw our last video where we spent the night in Venice and you're wondering why we did that, then the reason behind that is that it's actually quite expensive to fly to Slovenia. Um, Steve had a really good idea to look at airports nearby and it was a lot cheaper to fly to Italy first and we just loved it when we went to Venice before. Um, it's actually cheaper and closer if you go to Trieste, is that right? Um, but we just really fancied a night in Venice. So that's what we've done that. So we picked up the car from Venice and we've been driving, we've been in Slovenia for about half an hour already and the journey has been so lovely. We can already see like how scenic and beautiful it is here. So we've just arrived at our first destination, which is the Pradyama Castle, and I probably pronounced that really wrong, and I'll probably pronounce a lot of things wrong during this trip, but so please bear with me. But this castle has actually been perched up on the 123 metre high rocky cliff for over 800 years, and it's so unique, it's ranked amongst the most 10 fascinating, fascinating castles in the world. Um, and what's really interesting is actually behind the castle is a network of secret tunnels that the knight who used to live here used to use for his expeditions. And then a really fun fact as well is that he was actually killed while he was on the toilet by a cannonball. <laughs> What a view! So this is the torture chamber. So they actually just put people on that wooden horse is what they're saying? Probably not that exact one, but... Something like that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I guess that wouldn't be comfortable. To the sides. So, that was the toilet where um, the guy was killed. <laughs> and they were, the, they were the balls that they found. Oh, really? Yeah, like the small ones that they, they were used in the cannons. Oh my goodness. And then, and the guy is buried over there by that church. Oh really? Oh. Zina, Zina. Okay. <laughs> so it must have come at like that, that angle. Yeah, it hit the wall and apparently it collapsed while right. he was on the toilet and then actually <laughs> he was killed. And then they found all of the cannonballs. Steve, can pick on that? It's probably like... A little bit heavier than like the heaviest bowling ball you can get. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. so it's not that heavy then. I oh, know you can pick it up pretty comfortably, but it's like you if you got hit by it. You, you definitely don't... want anyone firing it. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> especially no. while you're on the toilet. <laughs> be a bit of a shocker, wouldn't it? <laughs> Bat up there. It's coming down. No, it's not. Is it? <laughs> is it? No. It's actually meant to have loads of bats here. I know, that's what I said it. Oh, you're an idiot. Shoot out marbles. That was funny. <laughs> See, making fun of the cannon because it was small. He said it shoots out marbles. <laughs> it definitely got shooting out those big ones we saw down there, though, was it? I don't like their gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the size of the hole. Whoa! Mad. Oh my goodness, I was expecting all of this. So we're coming in like this massive cave. And then you can see glimpses. Do you want to go pick up? I'm excited for that bit, it looks hard to pick on camera. But if you're in Slovenia, definitely come to that. It's like way better than I was expecting, to be fair. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be like like a nice castle obviously that you could just see from the outside but there's like you can walk all around it and you get like an audio guide and stuff which is pretty interesting yeah it was quite interesting listening to all the stuff wasn't it yeah it's pretty good 
And I liked how like you could actually go through the castle to like into like the caves on the other side. Yeah. I wasn't expecting all of that, and it's nice how you can like look out through the cave then. You see, onto, like all this beautiful scenery. Yeah, you can see like um, the dungeon and stuff as well, mm. where like people obviously tortured and whatever. They have like really like creepy noises and that like, playing in the thing. <laughs> I was actually thinking when we was there, like, imagine like going there for like, okay. Halloween night or something. Like, it'd be so cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, when we was in there, I kind of thought that there was um, like rocks falling. I think it like sounded like there's like, <laughs> like a massive hole at the thing. So I thought like, I was just gonna get trapped in there forever. Oh god, don't see that. <laughs> they were in the cave thing. Did you see the thing? Oh, you can see the toilet from the outside. Oh yeah. So that part is the toilet. I'll point to it now. That's where we were filming from. And I'll try and put a point now where, because you won't even be able to see it, where like the little balcony part is. It's kind of like disguised in the cliffs, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can't really see it, but we were actually going to stand on there and we were filming out from there. Mm. So it's really cool, it's like a secret L. I bet people could go on there when there were like wars or something, they could like hide over that camouflage <coughs> balcony. Shoot Probably. stuff with their tiny little cannons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we really enjoyed, I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I was going to, to be fair. Yes, I am. Um, it was really cool. Yeah. So we're off to the next place now. I'm right. a little bit nervous <laughs> because I get quite seasick and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dee just had a very outrageous claim. Am I allowed to announce it? Yeah, go on, you can. 